Yo guys, Monk here. Yes, I am back again with another After Effects tutorial. My other one went so well, you guys actually liked it. So I have got a actual After Effects intro uh, uh, kind of tutorial where you can go ahead and do a fancy uh, transition to show your logo or some tech if you don't have a logo and just have text as your main concept of art, whichever one you use. So first of all, what you need, to, you guys need to do is you want to go and head over to After Effects. Obviously this does require one plugin, but the plugin is free and I'll leave a download link for that in the description for you guys to go ahead and download. But let's open up the um, After, After Effects, go into Composition, create a new composition and go and name it cinematic lighting effects but it do uh, 24 frames per second like I'm doing on screen and then just obviously go ahead and save that now you want to go into your project bar at the bottom right click onto that and open up a new solid layer uh, and you want to name that as background but the color to like a grayish color like mine is there so just copy the point and press ok and you want to duplicate that layer so Ctrl and D on that and then rename it as particle so press enter to rename it now head over to your effects and presets and search for CC particle uh, system 2 and just drag and drop that onto your particles layer now what you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and drop down on phys physics and change the animation to direction go over to like two seconds into your timeline and move the uh, flares over to where I'm putting it now then you want to go ahead and change the velocity to 0 0.5 change the gravity to 0 and you want to go and open up producer put your radius X to 100 and put your radius Y to 100 as well then open up your particle tab, go to particle type and set that to faded sphere. And put your birth size to 0 0.1 and your death size to 0 0.1. And where it says birth colour, go ahead and change that to whichever colour you want. I'm going to change it to orange because I think it gives that little fire effect. But for me, it seems like it's got too many flares going on. So I'm gonna get rid of some of them first so go to birth rate and put that to 2 and it looks so much better than what it was from before so now once you've done that you want to go ahead over back to your project section where it's got all your background and particles in just click onto that and you want to drag in any logo that you have so your logo or an experiment logo for a client or your text as a logo um, that you've done in Photoshop just drag that into your project and you want to drag that down into your timeline above your particles layer so once you've dragged that in guys it might need resizing so just go and press the drop down arrow and then wait, go down to transform and where it says scale just move that down until it's small like mine is just what I've done on screen and then you want to go ahead and right click onto your uh, logo and you want to go onto pre-compose name the composition as logo and you want to make sure that you've got that move all attributes checked like I have there and then just press ok now what you're going to do is you're going to go onto layer right at the top and you're going to go onto auto trace and just copy down the settings that I have on screen now then press ok once you've done that if you want to see the auto trace outline that's done on your logo you can go ahead and just press this little thing that I'm pressing now and it will toggle the outline of the uh, auto trace which you've just done just to make sure if you've done it right but for this video you don't need to have it toggled so you want to go back into your effects and presets and search for saber the thing that you've downloaded which is in the description and drag that onto your logo and then you want to go and click on the customized car and where it says car type you want to go and bring it to layer mask and then on the preset you want to say it to art reactor once you've done that you want to put the end offset to zero and then move your timeline arrow to the start of the timeline so where it says end offset you want to go and put your timeline uh, to the beginning so you put the timeline marker to the beginning of the project and you want to go and put, press the um, end offset that little stopwatch to put a marker on that press it so it glows up blue like mine has and put the opacity down to zero and then you want to go ahead and uh, just, uh, go further up for a couple of seconds on your timeline to two seconds and then you want to go and change it to 50% as you can see it should look something like this once you've done that you can go ahead and um, 
go down into your render settings and where it says composition settings break down as transparent just so it can get rid of the background and you can see the actual background that you made with particles earlier on in the video and then go ahead and change the color if you like I'm gonna put it down to an orange yellow because mine's PUBG themed and obviously I've got the fire theme going on inside the uh, composition as well so I've just copied the code as well which I will need later because I'm obviously wanting to have the same colors you'll know why later on but you want to go ahead and duplicate that logo layer and you want to go and click on to where it says presets on the duplicated layer and put it down to kryptonite and then where it says mask evolution you want to go and change that to 180 and then go ahead and change the glow color like I said earlier if you wanted to have one particular color copy the color from earlier and just paste it in there which I've done now or just choose another completely different color so guys once you've done that where you want to go and click this Distortion and you want to go and click car distortion and put the distortion amount down to 7 and you want to put the car size to 1 now when you play it back from the beginning it should be as a one complete logo just like that now guys you want to go and click on that duplicated logo layer and you want to go ahead and duplicate it again so to duplicate a layer just click ctrl and D and then you want to go ahead and you want to delete the saber effect from that duplicated layer. Now once you've done that your logo should actually show up and you want to go into effects and presets and search for Venetian blinds I think that's what you say and just drag and drop that onto the third duplicated logo layer and then you want to change the width to 10, change the direction to 45 and then you want to go ahead and just click the stopwatch on 2 seconds on the third duplicated layer. You then you want to go 3 seconds in and then change that to 0. Then go to the second duplicated layer, go down to 2 seconds, then go and click the stopwatch where it says core size. And do that for the first logo layer. Again, click the stopwatch to add a little marker. Then you want to go to 3 seconds in and you want to change the core size to 0 for the, but the for the first logo layer and for the second logo layer. And then you want to go ahead and go to the beginning and just see your logo actually nicely just crop into that like mine is doing now. If you've done it wrong just go back to the video and make sure and just look what I do. If you didn't quite understand what I meant that bit was quite confusing. Uh, but yeah just go through the video over and over again on that little bit just so you know what I was doing and then you want to go ahead and highlight all the three logo layers and then you want to go and highlight all the keyframes and you want to go and press F9 to easy ease them keyframes once you've done that guys you want to go all the way to the still having all the logo layers highlighted you want to go to the top one right click it and you want to go and click pre-compose and you want to go and name the composition as logo animation and just click OK. You want to go down into logo animation, do the drop down arrow to, on transform and you want to go and add a, a keyframe. You want to go to 0 seconds sorry and you want to change the rotation to minus 45 and you want to go and change the scale to 250% and it should start off what I'm doing now and go and nicely do a 180 degree or 90 degree I think it is into the logo like that so now there's one more thing which we got we are going to do guys and that is it the tutorial will be over so guys you want to go ahead and enable motion blur so on the logo animation layer you see these three circles you want to click that and you want to go ahead on top of the uh, where the search bar is and click the three circles again and that will enable motion blur and then you want to go obviously my particles I think for me are a bit too bright so I'm just going to turn the opacity down so I'm just going to the particles going to the trans uh, transformation or effects and changing the opacity down to about 74 percent uh, it's entirely up to you though guys you don't have to do that that's just my preference I'm going to play it one more time to see if I'm happy with it and I'm going to add the cinematic borders to it so right click and create a solid and you want to click name that solid as film and you want to put the color to black and then click OK and you want to go and click onto your effects and presets and search for CC jaws and just apply that to the film layer and then you want to go over to where it says height and change that to zero and put the complete completion to 75% and that's it guys the tutorial is over 
and all you have to do is just render this out. Uh, I've got some music down in the description for you guys to download and apply this to your template. Just cut and crop the end of the template, or just cut and crop the end of the intro once you've rendered it out to fit the music. And yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, enable post notifications by pressing that bell icon next subscribe button and let me know in the comment section if you want more videos like this on how to use After Effects because obviously I'm learning as well as you guys when I'm doing these videos and also go ahead and enter my PlayStation 4 Pro giveaway link is down in the description go check out my previous After Effects tutorial video link for that will also be down in the description as well and I will see you guys in the next video peace out Models,